Alright, what's going on guys? Try back again. I'm here to bring you another video. This video is going to be talking about what is my favorite season of The Walking Dead. So this is a topic I have done videos on in the past, you know, one season versus another, all of that kind of stuff. And if you guys have watched my previous videos or some of them, you'll know that I favor The Walking Dead Season 2 over Season 1. I like Season 2 more than Season 1. And up until fairly recently, I actually was a bigger fan of Season 2 than Season 3. However, that has now changed completely. Um, after last week's episode of Season 3, I will say that The Walking Dead Season 3 is by far my favorite season of the show. And it's not just because it has the most amount of episodes, obviously 16 versus, um, was it uh, 12 or 13 last year? I think it was 13, wasn't it? Yeah, 12 or 13. I forget. Uh, and then Season 1, which was only six episodes. Um so yeah, obviously season one, six episodes, they did cover quite a bit in the six episodes, and it actually had a bigger budget than season two did. Um, so that being thrown in the mix too, considering that, I definitely prefer season two over season one. So the real question is, do I prefer at this point season three or season two? And up until now, it was season two, but within the last couple weeks of just watching the show, for me personally, that has switched. The Walking Dead season three at this point, and Onward is my favorite season of The, ep of the Walking Dead so far. Uh, absolutely. Um, so many great episodes and uh, so much excitement in, the, in this season of The Walking Dead. Things that we've never seen before in the show. You know, getting to see an actual, uh, you know, war go down between two groups. Getting to see, you know, just people getting blasted and, and, and gunfire everywhere and walkers coming in and being involved in the mix with the whole governor's truck thing and everything like that. Uh, and not only just that, the previous stuff with Glenn um, and uh, Maggie getting taken captive and, and the whole Rick escaping with um, Daryl and Merle meeting each other again. You know, us finding out about, uh, you know, a little bit of the history with them. Finally them meeting on screen so that we can see it. Um, just Awesome, awesome stuff. Uh, season two was great, but the problem for me with season two is it was too uh, one-dimensional in that they stayed at the farm, and the farm was really the main landscape for uh, that season. And I know, like for me, I didn't mind it too much, but a lot of people I know for a fact they did not like it. Uh, they just found it to be boring. Uh, and up until, you know, maybe about halfway through, a lot of the episodes in the middle were really dragging. The premiere was amazing, you know, with the whole highway scene and everything. But then as you go on through it, the next few episodes, aside from Shane's development, uh, there was a lot of really boring parts and a lot of really slow parts where they could have done a lot more with it. Now, I don't know what the budget, uh, you know, of season two versus season three is. <coughs> I imagine season three is, is way bigger than uh, what season two was because, I mean, they've done so much more. They've got Woodbury, they've got the prison, they built this whole thing. I mean, I, I imagine the budget is way higher. So, yes, that plays a big role as well um, because they can do more things now with a bigger budget. You know, we can have more vehicles and the, the vehicle full of uh, walkers and all these different crazy things that we didn't really get too much of in uh, season two or it just seemed like they were trying to fill a lot in because they didn't have the money to really do, um, you know, too much else. Now, I did like the whole development of Shane's character over the season. I thought the Sophia arc uh, and uh, Pretty Much Dead Already still, for me, might be the highlight of the entire series because it was so unexpected. But um, definitely, if I have to compare the season, season three takes it at this point. I mean, the excitement level. Okay, is it just me or is the excitement level... Totally different in season three than it was in season two. You know, you have characters, you have no idea who's going to die next. Even in my predictions, totally off. You know, what's going to happen next? Totally unpredictable. But yeah, at the same time, it turns out to be even better than I thought it was going to be. Um, you know, you have more characters involved. You have two different camps. You have Merle, who's who's caught in between. You have Andrea, who's caught in between, who's as a character. See, all these interesting things that in season two, really the most interesting thing was the... <laughs> love triangle between uh, Shane and Rick and, you know, all of that, as well as maybe the Randall part and all these other things, which were great, too. 
But uh, and I and I do really miss having Shane on the show, whereas he used to be great in season two. Really interesting. And but the way that went all down at the end definitely was worth it and was really well done and, and uh, very well handled. Um, but in season three, you just have so much more going on, so many more characters, uh, so much more excitement, the battles between them, everything. And it, it looks like to me, it's probably only going to get better by the end of the season. Uh, also, in terms of character development, uh, yes, it was a lot for Shane in season two. But in season two, aside from Rick dealing with what happened with Shane, you know, season three for him has been a lot more trying time. And he's going to change a lot more in season three than he did in season two. Uh, also, getting having him sort of losing his mind and dealing with coping with the the Lori death afterwards, man, definitely, definitely, very, very well done. Uh, everything. Um, so that's pretty much all I got to say. That The Walking Dead season three at this point is already my favorite season of The Walking Dead. Even regardless of the rest of the episodes, if the rest of the episodes turn out to be crap, it's already for me surpassed season two and the amount I enjoyed season two. Season three has beaten that already. Just from the excitement. Uh, all the different new characters interacting, everything that's happening with them. Oh, man. Man, it's good stuff. Anyway, that's it for this video, guys. Uh, let me know what you think about, uh, you know, versus which one did you enjoy the most, which season. Is there anybody out there that enjoyed season one the most? Is there anybody that still enjoys season two more than season three? Or is everybody just like me at this point and season three your favorite? That's all I got to say. See you for the next one, guys. This is Trev. Same piece.